Hello traders, the title of the video is uh, mastering uh, the flat corrective wave pattern like an agile catch. Right? One of my favorite uh, animals is the catch. And we can learn a lot from the catch if we want to become okay, an agile a trader, which means we are looking for the best uh, trading opportunity, and when we spot a ready-made, okay, excellent trading opportunity, we will jump on it, okay, and trade it like a pro, like an agile cat also, all right? So I hope you like this title. So my favorite uh, area way pattern is the flat correction. If you are day trading, you may see a lot of flat corrective waves, either on the 4 hour time frame or on a 15 minute time frame, and you can take advantage of that. Uh, my favorite flat correction is the expanded flat correction, when the B wave of the flat correction goes above uh, the fifth aerial wave, ending exactly at 138.2% Fibonacci okay, extension level, okay, of the prior uh, trend, all right? <clears throat> so we can use either the Fibonacci extension or the fifth wave, 138.2%, Fibonacci extension level of the fifth wave, or we can apply the Fibonacci extension to the whole multi wave, and we want to highlight the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level, of the whole multi wave. So I have, as I've done it today, I have applied the Fibonacci extension to the whole multi wave and I have highlighted the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level of that multi wave. But as I'm telling you now, we can also apply uh, the Fibonacci extension only to the fifth area wave, and we want to highlight the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. If you do that, your 138.2% will be right here. Okay, so you will say in this case that the B wave went above the 138.2% level. But if you apply the Fibonacci extension to the whole multi wave, you see that it's stopping exactly at that 138.2% Fibonacci extension level of that multi wave, the trending phase that has started in 1990 and has ended okay, in 2007. We are talking about uh, okay, uh, dense supply. Siona Incorporated, hope my pronunciation is correct, uh, the EPIC is uh, S-Ray, X-Ray, Romeo, Alpha, Yankee, all right? belonging to the healthcare sector, all right? So understand that when you want to identify the flag correction, we use the internal wave, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, you can see that uh, something the reason why I'm recording this video today is to show traders the reality of the market. So normally, and normally, all right, a flat correction will come down one, two, three. Yes or no? All right. This is what we talk about the orderly uh, flat correction. Okay, three, three, five. So the A wave of the flat correction, in theory, should be subdivided into five, and the B wave of the flat correction should also be subdivided into three manual wave, and the C wave of the flat correction that we are expecting now should also should be subdivided into five. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three for the B wave, expecting the C wave that should be subdivided into five. But look at the structure of this B wave. Is it subdivided into three? <laughs> Tell me more, my friend. Is it subdivided into three? No, it's not subdivided into three. So if you start doing it, you go one, uh, two, three. So here people are expecting a C wave, it did not happen. So we can say this is a failure 
of the sea wave. Let's play with this a bit, all right? But all I want to show you here is that sometimes the reality of the market will not reflect the area of a theory as we expect in it. But this is a fully fledged flat correction that is completed at point B. I have not yet finished yet, so stay with us, please. So then again, it went up one, okay, two, three. It is another failure of the sea wave. It's a question. You don't have to answer it, all right? <laughs> okay, and then it went up again. One, two, all right, three. Okay, we will stop here, okay? We don't talk about this one, okay? So what's going on here? All right, this is what we are talking about, the reality of the market. So instead of uh, having a clear cut one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five now, here it is. This is your beautiful B wave of a flat correction. At this point in time, that's all we can say. Unless the price goes above the level of $66.59, which is the top pink line here. At this junction, we have the first area wave, the second area wave, and the third area wave that has been subdivided into five mono wave, the fourth area wave, and the fifth wave. Now the flat correction is underway, one, two, three, and then we will be expecting, at, that, at this point in time, we'll be expecting another daily one, two, three. So here we'll be thinking that probably we're going to have one, two, three, four, five move down, but it did not happen. So if somebody at this point in time say to you that we have a flat correction, is that person wrong? No, it's not wrong at all. Unless the person is expecting the expanded flat correction. So that person that is expecting the expanded flat correction will expect the B wave of the flat correction to come either at the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of the fifth wave or the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of the whole multi wave. We are now at a one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of the whole multi wave. The prior is now in a rising channel. We are expecting a C wave. If it pop up to that channel, we'll be talking about one, two, three, four, five. Is it going to be again anodally one, two, three, four, five? It may be, it may not be. As you can see here, the orderly one, two, three for the B way did not take place. The prior was extended, as you can see here. And you'll be wondering what's going on, but this is a clear cut B way of a flat correction. Whether it's one, two, three or not, it's a flat correction. <coughs> So this is about what I'm talking about all the time, the area with theory and the reality of the market. Is it making sense? So in fact, what I want to say to you, talking about mastering the flat uh, corrective wave a pattern like an agile cat. Now, now let's concentrate on the cat, my favorite animal, the cat. All right? If you want to buy me an animal, a pet, all right? remember it's the cat. All right? <laughs> Now, this is to make you laugh a bit, okay? So now, the point I want to make talking about trading the flat corrective wave pattern like an agile cat. In order to trade the flat corrective wave pattern like a cat, you want to trade, all right, which pattern, which portion? The C wave. That's why you want to trade. So, one, so once we see one, two, three, one, two, three, in another manner, this one was not another manner, or you see one, two, three, and the price goes above the fifth wave in the zone of the one, three, one, one, three, eight point two percent of the fifth wave, or one, three, eight point two percent of the multi wave, you monitor the reaction of the price. If it come of this triangle, this uh, channel, blue channel, we'll expect the C wave. So, in order to trade a flat corrective wave pattern like an agile cut, you want to trade the C wave. So when a seaway is underway, you want to position yourself right here and sell and be part of it. One to three. So if you sell here, okay, suppose you are here, you sell it like a agile card, it came down, pop out, you say, yes, this is what George is talking about. 
I'm using a top-down trading method like a pro to control the risk. And then it bounces up to retest that pink line. Find a resistance. You monitor the candlestick pattern here. You use that as a trading setup. You receive a clear cut signal to sell. You enter the trade on another time frame. Boom, the third part. So you see, one, two, three. You say, yes, this is what we are talking about. So like a cut means that you sold it first time here, okay, somewhere here, or break below, retest, or somewhere here for the first time. And as it's developing the one, two, three, four, five, you are positioning yourself at the right place to sell again. So if you sold it here at the early stage, it popped down. All right. It's up to you. You can take profit or you can move your stop loss down to this point or to somewhere here or to at a break even. Here it comes. It found a resistance. That's another invitation to sell. You reload it. You sell again. Pull down. You can take profit or secure some of that gain. And as an agile card, you're not going to miss any opportunity because you are an agile card. You will sell again. So you, you will sell it three times. First time at the early stage, which is quite tricky. Second time, when the second wave of the C wave is completed. All right? And also, at the end of the fourth area wave, you will sell again. Boom, boom, boom. Carefully, use the top-down trading method if there is a clear-cut trading setup on the edge. All right? So once you sold it here and you form the first lower here, you draw your trade line. This is about trading, okay, the flat corrective wave pattern like an agile cut. But it's not finished yet. There is another place that you can take, make a trading decision again during the C wave. It's when the C wave is completed. So at the end of the fifth wave of the C wave, you will take position again, expecting a reversal. If there is a bullish trading setup here, Again, in order to control the risk, you use a top-down trading method to trade it. So an agile, okay, a trader that wants to trade like agile cards, trading the flat corrective wave pattern, well, at the end of an uptrend, when we have a flat correction, we'll sell first time, second time, third time. But at the end of the fifth wave, he or she will now buy again, expecting a bounce up. <clears throat> There are, we have uh, the running flat correction, the expanded flat correction, and the classic flat correction. My favorite flat correction is the expanded flat correction because very often you know that, okay, people think that the trend is continuing as it break above this high of the fifth wave. If it comes back below the high of the fifth wave, it's a reversal. If you find a resistance below the high of the fifth wave, it's a reversal. So we will expect, okay, the flat correction. As you can see, sometimes, okay, the theory will match the reality of the market. Sometimes the reality of the market may not match the area wave theory. So you have learned it that the flat correction is one, two, three. Here it is. Is it one, two, three here? It's not. But look, we have the one, three, eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of the fifth wave and also the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of the mochi wave. This is not one to three. So what are you going to say about that? Does it mean that the area wave theory is wrong? No, it's not wrong. This is what we are talking about. Giving priority to the price action itself, giving precedent to the price action itself before okay, the area wave patterns will help you to make better okay wave trading decisions. <coughs> The price action first before the wave pattern. Because if you want to account for every price move with the area wave pattern, you get confused. That's why some traders, though they are, they can use the area wave, eh, they just couldn't get their mind around it because they want to account for every move. You remember when we were talking about the complex correct way? I was suggesting to traders that sometimes if you see a double bottom chart pattern, just cover it and watch the next price move. So, if you want to account for every price move, like here, so what has happened here, you try to invent all kind of blah, 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 to justify it. The price just went down from A to B. Here, that's it. That's the end of it. Blah, 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 and so on. Now, will the C way be anomaly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Sometimes it will be. Sometimes it's a sharp correction. They will just sell it, it down, and run to the target level. Boom, down. 
What are you going to do about that? <laughs> You're waiting for your elderly one to five, one to three, <laughs> uh, uh, one to three for five, and it's not happening. They sell you down, the price comes down very sharply. Are you going to fight them? You're not going to fight them, okay? So now I'm talking about a target. So you want to trade it like a pole, the target of the C wing. How do we do that? I talked about it before. We apply Fibonacci extension to what? The A wave of the flat correction. So if you have been following us for donkey years, as they say, all right, you should know now the target for the C wave of the flat correction. So normal target will be the end of the A, the, the low of the A wave. So minimum target, 100% level at the end of the A wave. You can't ignore it because it's a support. The price did for the support here and up. So this is, what we are, this is what we are talking about all the time. The price action before the wave pattern. All the things that we learned about the earlier wave strategy, earlier wave principle, blah, blah, blah. The price action before anything else. So that's the first target because it's a support level, price going down, price looking for a better support level. Even the support before that, you should take them into consideration before even this one. You see? But in theory, we'll see to trade and watch the level of 138.2%. The level of 161.8%, Fibonacci extension level of the A wave of the flat correction, and even the 200%, which is somewhere below here, of that level. So those are the three levels that we are watching, but no more, we should watch also the 100% level and any other support level as the price is rolling it down. Does it mean that this price cannot go up? You see, this is what we are talking about. So now, as, as an earlier way trader, it's no more for us in our mindset to expect one, two, three, four, five because of, okay, everything aligning beautiful. First wave, second wave, third wave, extended, fourth wave, fifth wave, one, two, three. Now we are now one, three, eight point two percent level. We have a good reason as an earlier way trader to expect a move down in the shape of one, two, three, four, five. All right. Don't be surprised if sometimes the price continues to go up. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to fight it? Don't fight it. Just remember that the price action before, okay, <clears throat> the wave pattern. So talking about mastering the flat corrective wave pattern like a Najai, a cat, my favorite pet. All right? You want to look for an opportunity to sell at the end of uh, the bullish move, at the end of the the B wave drawing the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of the fifth wave, and also the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of the whole multi wave. All right, look, look for weaknesses here. We have this here. We have a double top. Okay, here it is, but still in the rising channel. So we want it to come out and retest. If you sell at the double top, okay, manage it carefully. That's a good place to sell though. This common satellite support. Sell it. Come down here. You are now in a little bit of profit. You can move your stop loss a little bit and see whether it's going to pop out or not. But the management of the trade during the C wave is so important. So you sell here. As an agile cut, so you'll sell three times here, here, here. But at the end of the fifth wave or the C wave or the flat correction, you monitor again the reaction of the plan, you apply top down to the middle, don't just buy and say, yes, it's there, it's the target, yeah, 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 don't rush, okay? Be patient, and then take it from there, all right? So this will conclude our discussion today about mastering the flat corrective wave uh, pattern, like an agile uh, cut. Do you like cut? Some religion, they don't like cut. Okay, so you like dog, I like dog too, but my, fav my favorite pet is the cat, all right? If you have any question or suggestion, okay, put in the comment section and into course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, question. If you like this video, give us the thumbs up. If you think, Joe, this is another poor performance, I don't know what's wrong with you, mark it down and, all right, into course, okay, I'll try to improve my next uh, recording. If you think this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share it on Reddit on Twitter, on Google Plus, and also on Facebook. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW, uh, 24 uh, traders. Happy trading to you all and speak to you uh, soon.